the truth of the matter is that the audience outside actually are the ones who bring in revenue so they buy his music they pay for his shows they book him but in ghana here you get calls and people are trying to book you for for really really low sums of money and I, i'd say they don't respect the art yes it's it's serious because i look at it i'm like all the hard work that we do so that lets you see that there's a, there's really a big gap in the industry there's so much that needs to be done in this industry and until people start respecting respecting the art that's will even show in how much they want to book you you understand ghana needs to respect they need to respect the artists because the artists are putting a lot of work i see a lot of a lot of young artists like like young like i'm so i'm so uh, inspired by the new crop of artists that are out the yeah, uh, Darko Vibes and his gang, um, Chris Arthur, Before Bonac, and Promise. And I see the kind of work that they are putting into their, their craft. Like they are shooting their videos even from an early stage. And that alone shows you that the artist is putting in a lot of work and it's investing. So if you invest in something, you definitely have to reap. So when you come to someone that's invested so much in, in their work, you pay, you pay for it, right? You don't call and you you try and get it for free or try and get it at cheap or outrageous prices that do not make commercial sense you understand and sometimes when we push back and we don't want to uh, perform if you forget about the money you forget about the money the treatments like you book an artist i don't know if you've ever heard what they call, or if you've ever heard of a rider so a rider is basically the list of things that the artist needs to ensure that his set is perfect you want to book an artist for a show and the artist is telling you to give him um, this amount of money uh, telling you to pay for it right make sure that you have um give him bottles of juice you need to get a dry place for him to have his team like basically everything in this kind of lights he needs uh, the lights them at this point he wants smoke he wants a band then the moment you start making those demands they start they start feeling like you are you are making outrageous demands just because you are being booked but that's not the case it's because we want to make sure that um the show goes as planned the audience that come get become happy and when they are happy they'll come back for your show again it's only for you it's for your good it's not it's not just for us so when we ask for these things some Ghanaian promoters should respect it but when they call you you start tell, giving them a rider and they are not used to it because they just want to pay you 5,000 cities and expect you to show up and figure out how you perform or you, 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 do you get what I mean but other people call from outside people who are not Ghanaian people who are, do not even do not even relate to the hassle they call you from outside from um, Uganda, Abidjan, Gabon, and they are giving you good treatment. We show up in those countries and they give us security end to end. They give us the dancers we want. They provide for the band. They they make sure that the show is lit. And if you see the videos from the Life is Easy tour in Africa or even the UK, wherever he's been booked, you see that there's a very good production effort there, and that's because the promoters are. Uh, are supportive like for example even if you look at Sonny Badu I don't know if it, <laughs> I don't you, you should find out from anyone who has tried booking Sonny Badu before you understand there's a difference in how art, gospel artists in Ghana are booked for shows and how someone like Sonny Badu outside is booked for shows the professionalism to it the demands it makes and and they are not outrageous demands they are only for to ensure that everyone has a good time you understand so Ghanaian promoters need to respect um, respect the artists, and when they respect the artists, the industry will grow. You understand? Even Nigerians who are who are just outside here, they call and they they do everything according to plan. Like whatever demands or whatever requirements that I won't call them demands. I'll say requirements. Whatever requirements we give them, so it's actually a requirement, not a demand. Whatever requirements we give them, they provide it and they ensure that the show is lit and it goes down into history. Yeah. So basically that's it.